I'm Catherine Park and I'm the Director of People Analytics. We are a consumer data platform. So like a lot of companies, COVID hit, we went remote temporarily and then realized this isn't really a temporary thing. And so at the time, Lytx said, let's just lean in and go fully remote. Something I love about Lytx is we're constantly changing. We're continually looking to evaluate, you know, what we're doing and how can we continue to create that connection when we're spread out throughout the U.S. We forget that the human aspects of being able to talk to people in the hallway, you know, uh, tap them on the shoulder, see how their day's going, grab an impromptu lunch. We don't really get to do that. That's always something that I'm thinking about in terms of looking for ways to engage and stay connected with, you know, really our community. It's kind of hard to measure like what was happening before, you know, sort of that get to know each other, just have conversations has gone by the wayside. And so you get on a video call, a virtual call, and a lot of times people just jump right in. A lot of us, even if we are in the Portland area, we haven't met before. You know, you spend so much time with people that you work with. And if you don't have that connection, it's just a job. And people want to leave jobs if it's just a job. You know, they need to be connected to something other than the work they do. Field Day really is a big reason as to why, you know, volunteering came into a forefront um, as far as a way to, to have engagement. It's a great opportunity and platform to take a lot of that legwork out of it. The nonprofits, they're already there. So you're not having to do that research, even as simple as the filtering tools. And so it's easy to say Fridays are a better day. We don't have meetings. You can sort that way. You can sort by age restriction if people are wanting to bring their kids. I think also just the communication tool where everything that people need to know for that event is there where they sign up it makes it a lot easier as well. I think there's two really that come to mind. You know, one is our streets in part because one of our engineering managers really took it upon himself to reach out to his team and say, hey, I'm going to be there. You, you should come. The other one is Portland Backpack, where we did a virtual event. You know, it was kind of that break that everybody needed to recenter. So I think those are those are two that come to mind that were really successful. Just getting to know each other has been really amazing. Meeting other departments outside of my own. It's a really great way to just get to know the folks that are new and also the folks that are, you know, that have been here a long time. It's good to reconnect. I don't know how much it would have come to fruition though without having that platform where it's a lot easier just to, you know, not only myself or somebody else on the people team or somebody on the DEI committee spearheading, but you know, having the ability to have a manager spearhead it and sort of reallocating that responsibility. Being able to pull numbers of hours volunteered and talk about those all hands meetings and it's really kind of propelled that conversation, I think. It's been a a great kickoff and um, we've already started looking at different ways that we can engage and so we have these sort of little cohorts popping up across the U.S. as well where there's definitely a desire to have volunteer opportunities where there are a few people. We've been able to leverage one or two remote volunteer opportunities which I think is another huge win, you know, until field day gets to the point that they're in Denver, for example. I mean, I definitely would recommend field day. I think that everybody's looking for more ways to connect and more ways to build community, be that with teammates or just in their personal lives and get involved. And so, you know, I'd highly recommend it really to anybody.